Hello, I made like a word of cloud um, collage of words that I've learned um, throughout this class. And I'm going to base it off of our project that we did. I chose to do a novel um, that relates with adolescence. And I chose The House on Mango Street by Sandra Cisneros. And so I'm going to start off with one of the quotes um, where she's talking about her name. I would like to baptize myself under a new name, a name more like the real me, the one nobody sees, Esperanza as Lisandra or Maritza or ZZ the X. Yes, something like ZZ the X will do. Um, this just gives us an idea of how Esperanza in this novel is um, trying to identify who she wants to be, which is one of the struggles that adolescents have. Um, so in my, in my analysis, I uncovered identity culture and lifestyle. Um, identity is when a person believes he or she is representing a synthesis and integration of self-understanding. Um, there can be conflicts between identity and identity confusion, which is Erickson's fifth um, developmental stage. This, and this occurs during adolescence. At this time, individuals are faced with deciding who they are, what they are all about, and where they're going in life. And so Esperanza uses the characters as well as the environment to kind of um, determine her identity. Um, another term that Erickson uses is called psychosocial moratorium, which is a gap between childhood security and adult autonomy that adolescents experience as part of their identity exploration. Uh, she begins this novel from a young age into adulthood, and she uses the characters' experiences around her to explain who she is or who she might become. Um, because of her culture being a Latina adolescent, um, her gender is also, um, her gender is more become a, a, a factor in who she can be or become. So gender intensification hypothesis states that psychos psychological and behavioral differences between boys and girls become greater during early adolescence because of increased socialization pressures to conform to traditional masculine and feminine gender roles. So she tends to look at her uh, great-grandmother and her mother to see if, her, if their gender roles are going to apply to her. This also relates with the gender schema theory that gender typing emerges as individuals develop schemas for what is gender appropriate and gender inappropriate in their culture. Um, so she undergoes many of like physical appearance changes um, and experiences some unwanted sexual advances and she realizes and that's actually dangerous for a female. Um, because she is uh, Mexican and she lives in the United States. This does apply to the collective collectivism, which emphasizes that the values that serve the group by subordinating personal goals to preserve group integrity, interdependence of the members, and harmonious relationships. Uh, many of the women that surround Esperanza gave up many um, pursuits. Um, there's dancers, there's singers, um, poets, and she and they all gave it up because they wanted to raise a family and get married because that's what's expected in that culture. Um, this also makes Esperanza question her ethnicity, which is based on cultural heritage, nationality, characteristics, race, religion, and language. Um, in the novel, she uses Spanish and English just to show how um, she's surrounded with two languages um, in her neighborhood and in school. <clears throat> this also creates um, another clash within uh, the way she is being raised um, with the Mexican ex uh, culture expectations versus the American culture. And I mean, dating is a whole different um, process, I guess. Parents expect them not to date unless they're ready to marry, which is very contradictory. Um, we also have the social maladaptation and psychological problems such as depression, low self-confidence, peer conflict, and juvenile delinquency are more prevalent among poor adolescents than among economically advantaged adolescents. Um, within the novel, there's uh, various characters who 
experience um, delinquency or uh, are challenged economically and it's because they have ties with immigrant parents or they are immigrant themselves um, but what I took the most out of this is that the immigrant paradox states um, that despite the many cultural socioeconomic language and other obstacles that immigrant families face their youth show a high level of well-being and fewer problems than native born youth um, this is good to show to my students I believe because it gives them hope in knowing that other people who are in the same situations of, as them can actually better their lives um, if they avoid going into um, delinquency or if they seek out additional support um, with that being said uh, one of the uh, quotes that really stuck with me, which is how uh, Sandra Cisneros ended her novel, um, states the following. Friends and neighbors will say, what happened to that Esperanza? Where did she go with all those books and paper? Why did she march so far away? They will not know I have gone away to come back for the ones I left behind, for the ones who cannot out. Cisneros, 1984.